Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. We just got everything loaded up. We're about to head back down to the building site down by the creek and get to work getting that beam put up and getting the rafters on so that we can uh, start slapping tent on this roof and get that whole bad boy knocked out. So let's get into it. And you put it 45 right here uh -huh. on this edge. Yeah. And then you draw your line, that'll be a 45 degree. Yeah. yeah, we do. Yeah, okay. we do. So we went ahead and built some 90s to put on each side of the beam when it's standing up there just for a bit more support and it's going to help us on the install because we'll, in we'll install them on the far side and then when we lean it up that way it just runs directly into that and we can't fall over anymore. So one, it's going to help us on the install and two, it's going to add a ton of stability to the cabin once we get it fully built. So that's what we're doing and then finishing building these and gonna slap that bad boy up there and get rolling. I think I can get it.
three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm on over here. We're on. Okay, balance it, balance it. I'm not up against it. Okay. one of the hardest things I've had to do out here because that beam is extremely, extremely heavy. So uh, my mom and dad on that side, I don't know if you can see, but they built little like joists to help push it up and me and Sarah just hit a nice little chest press and balanced it standing up there. Um, but we got it done, which is the important thing. So that was a thing that was going to be the big stickler. So I'm kind of glad we got that out of the way. And we're building the last two 90s to put on the other side of it now just to continue to add that sturdiness. Um, so it won't, you know, move or anything. And then we're going to figure out the angle and start laying those rafters down up there. So keep asking. That'll do it. Nail it! No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Okay, we've got five of these installed so far, as you can see. Um, we're gonna go ahead and knock out the opposite side before we do the rest of it, just because it's easy to do it on this side, you know, while we have, while we're sitting here working on where the loft is gonna be, because we're walking across these beams. Um, we're gonna have to bring in a big ladder to do the rest tomorrow. So we're just gonna try and knock the rest of this out tonight, get these last five up and be feeling pretty good about where we are. Um, getting the beam up today took a while, so but from here on, hoping that we can be a bit more speedy about things, but feeling good about where we're at. Okay, well, we just wrapped up on getting those um, last last few up there, as you can see. So we're feeling pretty good about that. Um, 
really the hard part about today was just getting that getting that beam up there that thing was so dang heavy man so you know it feels like it's kind of moving slow these past couple of days but you know we're at the end of the day we're making progress and you can't be mad at that so feel good about where we're at and tomorrow i think that we'll be able to you know get the rest of that up there and get the tin slapped on so that's the goal for tomorrow and then if we can do that the rest of the stuff is a cakewalk man the uh compared to roofing you know i'd really rather be doing the siding i feel like we'll be making better progress on that and moving quicker so feeling good um we will catch you guys tomorrow see you later